Welcome to yet another session of Face to Face with Toppers. We, I am Dr. Ahmed Subir, Assistant Professor in Neurology at MES Medical College. And I have with us uh, Dr. Ram Kumar, who has secured the 11th rank in the DM Neurology NEET exam in the year 2020. So welcome, Ram, uh, to this uh, interview session. I wholeheartedly congratulate you for your hard-earned success. I'm really happy for you. Uh, I'm uh, Ram Kumar. Uh, I'm basically from Pondicherry. So I did my UG from uh, uh, Indira Gandhi Medical College, Pondicherry, and the PG from Calicut Medical College. Uh, and uh, I have joined uh, DM Neurology in Calicut Medical College. Itself. So uh, tell me, Ram Kumar, regarding your uh, journey, regarding, because uh, I know uh, you were uh, with me for about one and a half years. Uh, so we had our association beginning from November last year, 2019 when we had conducted a conference in MES Medical College and you actively participated in the quiz session. And uh, so at that time, it's just, you knew, I knew that you are into preparation for neurology and your interest is neurology. How did you manage to find time for your uh, DM preparation? And what, what made you uh, like neurology rather than any other subject? I initially I thought neuro was tough and everything. Sir. And, but when, uh, because uh, from MBBS, uh, neuroanatomy and everything in anatomy days itself i used i don't like uh, neuroanatomy and those things sir. Okay. but when i came here uh, during my first year our sir and everyone's approach was like we have to approach like this then only like an idea came sir actually uh, and then in second year uh, we got a neuro posting which was very good and after that that quiz sir uh, which uh, from your college which conducted uh, actually i started reading uh, new for that only i started reading uh, neurology as such sir. from uh, harrison and then um, i started reading so uh, that was actually uh, uh, the starting point sir. and the uh, sessions over there uh, when sir from Chen, uh, madurai medical college came and gave an uh, talk sir the videos and the other things were very nice sir actually so uh, uh, that yes yeah. sir so like uh, that started uh, the interest i started having interest in neurology uh, so and my during our final year also like uh, because uh, uh, since it, in hectic year we couldn't read much uh, during our uh, md days sir. but still uh, during our last march april is corona came there so we had duties but our exams got postponed to two months uh, two and a half months got postponed sir. so i got uh, time to read during that sir and so i read harrison uh, once I had uh, 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 thoroughly I read Harrison and then uh, uh, for another one month we got delay in our practical examination so I could concentrate on anatomy physiology and those aspects of uh, neuro neuro as neuro case is very important so neuro and CVS are very important for our exams also so I concentrated more on uh, CNS because it's our long case. So yes, how did the MCQ orientation for you come as a was it natural? Uh, uh, or uh, did you go for any coaching or anything like that? No, sir. I didn't go join any coaching. But your uh, this modules, the the schedule which you put up uh, and the modules which you gave us a test that also like I attended those things also. So that was like a, a, a sample like how it may come and how I have to think and those as in every line how I can frame a MCQ. Uh, uh, like that it started like I started doing like that sir. so from boxes uh, any important box and other things which you uh, from the answers you gave sir, uh, mm-hmm. from different books the solutions which you gave uh, that those things was uh, like uh, important uh, which was like uh, it was uh, everything was in that table and everything you uh, gave uh, in a uh, orderly manner so it was it was helpful for sir and uh, as such i didn't join any coaching sir actually okay so you started learning in your final year md and uh, you just um, uh, solved questions which were uh, put by me in our group um, mock right. exams by writing the mock exams and the module based questions i had divided into 15 subjects uh, the whole neurology and uh, put the modules for you okay right. and that helped you to get an mcq orientation of approaching each okay. line in harrison okay so right. apart from harrison did you have any books to follow? Did you follow any books uh, in your uh, preparation, like in the MD fine year? Uh, sir, uh, actually, I read uh, De Jong in my uh, MD, sir. Bradley, one or two topics, only tables uh, uh, that, that I saw, that also you, which you put in the solution, 
uh, of the modules that only i read sir other than that i didn't uh, read any other i i had notes sir because like a for uh, since we had two and a half months for uh, my md preparation itself i made a notes sir oh. and after that for practicals also uh, we made a notes sir for practicals from different books uh, we just made notes and then uh, our uh, sirs uh, classes and everything and from the modules if i find any extra topic or extra point on a certain topic i will add to the notes what did you feel after writing the exam whether you have uh, completed sir, your studies or uh, you will you get it and all that kind of uh, uh, sir like uh, while in uh, while attempting needs need uh, medicine part was like okay for me sir but neuro was like uh, i was not at all sure sir i i felt it was tough and uh, the one thing i don't know maybe i i left the pediatric part sir because i was which one i was not at all confident i didn't write the questions sir maybe oh. that helped or not i am not sure sir because sir, a very valid point you have I, I told nobody they, now had told me like till now had told me regarding this the point is that i think uh, the exam pattern would be like 20 percentage less than 20 percentage would be repeats or 20 percentage oh. would be repeats and about 20 to 40 percentage that is up to 60 20, 20 is repeat 20 to 40 percentage would be mostly in and around the repeats that is kind of hot topics okay. they deal okay. and uh, i think uh, in that there will be a mixture of uh, mild to moderate and uh, very tough questions so and i think uh, so 60 is covered and now 20 more would be a bit more tougher question maybe uh, update questions etc etc and the last 10 maybe last 10 Ten questions would be actually this uh, to filter out the toppers. That is very tough questions, uh, untouchable questions, I would say. So that if you don't know anything, better not to mark because you have negative marking of one by four. No? So I think uh, so. If you are not that sure, you have to say segregate because when you learn, you will come to know. Never think that you have to attempt fully. if you have prepared good don't attempt fully at least 10 questions there should be a gap actually 10 questions you should leave maybe that has worked for you because uh, you were thorough with the other subjects pediatric neurology you didn't have much of an idea because you didn't prepare as such for that yeah. so you left the tough questions i think they must have helped so we have to strategize every time the neat actually pattern is changing every time every year pattern is changing so we cannot just follow the advice of people who had written last year or maybe even uh, we have to while writing the exam we have to think what the others would be because it's mainly a competition okay. so that i think it would have worked in your favor what advice would you give for all the neat aspirants next year what should they do because you were a fresher uh, you were working and uh, in between it was du- during your sr ship you had given the exam so what advice would you give the uh, future generation who are like who are writing the 2021 neat exam so like uh, second year md residents uh, they have to read on standard books some standard books uh, practical for practical uh, during second year we can read so when they are, they are in peripheral posting they should read and they should Uh, at least cover some things sir, because in that we will cover anatomy and physiology sir when we read those books we will cover anatomy and physio of a uh, neuro and in final year they should read harrison sir because whatever topic they are aiming at for us neurology uh, if they are re- uh, uh, attempting neurology and they are aiming for neuro they should read neurology in depth thoroughly and then start reading others first take neurology and finish everything Uh, a chapter every chapter in uh, harrison neurology and then go for other uh, systems systems uh, and and once their practicals is on they can revise anatomy and physiology sir. so uh, so that their theory a uh, theory topic is also covered and their practical aspect in that anat physio played a major part in our exams also some seven or eight questions came from your pra- our practical exams uh, oriented uh, questions sir like uh, case scenarios and other things it came sir So, uh, they can join any any M- if they have time they can join any mcq uh, any uh, center coaching centers are there they can join and because to get that feel and and uh, uh, and, and i uh, prefer your uh, module and uh, other things sir because uh, we have a timetable and that will be easy to follow sir even if they are in they are doing their sr ship or final year three days once a topic that two three or four pages in harrison will be 
uh, it will be easy to cover for them. So they can read at least twice during that time itself. So, uh, so you, uh, your advice is to start your MD preparation very early, not the MD preparation, DM neurology exam preparation by at least uh, second year of MD and step up uh, with uh, like more also concentrate on the practical aspect, practical aspect. And uh, I have had it uh, and also uh, like if possible, uh, try to solve like MCQs by joining uh, some coaching center or anything, even during your second year MD. That's what your suggestion. Final year maybe, sir. Final, final year or once, uh, because... Uh, out from that MD, MD or final year. So uh, Ram, uh, actually I made a video for all the DM neurology as per, I mean, DM neurology who just cleared this thing. Uh, they were asking me multiple questions regarding which book to follow and all. So in that I had told them that clinical aspect and uh, I uh, advised them to start uh, reading uh, braces and also Dijon. Dijon, most of them as you, you yourself uh, would have started reading for MD. So as you said, clinical aspect of uh, neurology or any uh, subject, uh, any aspect of neurology would be there in Dijon, uh, right? Yes, okay, and, yes, I, and I had suggested in that video that uh, braces will help you step one step ahead from Dijon. Dijon, you had already read in MD and braces. So I think you were suggesting regarding Dijon, I guess. Dijon, Dijon. yes. Because okay. for any topic, they will be giving corresponding anatomy and some physio physiology they will give. So that is enough. That is enough, I guess. Okay. okay. You didn't go for Snell's and uh, Genong and all. You just and need to also. be having either braces or Dijon for MD pre uh, Dijon. And uh, when you finish, you can step up to braces. What mistake you did, which you want, uh, you don't want your younger brothers and sisters to do? But I have uh, time for stitch. Chitra. I had 10 days, sir. Okay. So I thought I I what I did was I should have gone for my notes and other things. But what I thought was uh, uh, like uh, uh, I started reading Bradley sir. Okay. So uh, uh, I I don't know where to I in five days I could I could just read only two or three uh, chapters from that sir. So I guess I wasted all those things. But but uh, they didn't ask much from that sir. Okay. Uh, in the sense, what I the, what the topics I read. So I guess it's better to revise what you have already read. And Harrison itself is uh, more than enough, sir. And from some topics which uh, uh, the our professors or like the coaching uh, institutes are telling, we can do that topics only from uh, Bradley and other things, sir. Okay. Uh, because uh, what my seniors uh, told also was like Bradley and other will be for institute exams okay. mainly they will concentrate on that and harrison only they will uh, concentrate harrison in neat like that and and when i wrote the exam also it was like it was harrison based only sir. Okay. so i guess we will we can uh, we have to revise more uh, than going for uh, new topics from new new books uh, as you said bradley should be ha should be learned a bit earlier so that you don't start yes. learn, learning, uh, la start learning Bradley in the end, and uh, you end up getting uh, confused. So last, especially after the NEET and between the institute exams, you definitely needn't study anything new, but try to revise. That is your advice. Okay. Yes. Okay. One. Okay. That's a, a very good point you have told. It will definitely help the aspirants, especially planning for the institutes, because all the aspirants should. Uh, if even if you are planning for institutes, your basic aim should be NEET. Because NEET is the first exam you are going to write most probably. Maybe AIMS mid-session you will be able to write before that. But even though uh, NEET should be your primary aim. And apart from that, uh, if you have Nimhan's AIMS, Sri Chitra, Jivmar, FPG, etc. in your mind, uh, you have to separate, prepare separately. But I agree that. But uh, first should be NEET. Then try to improve on that. So that will be a very good strategy because uh, you, if in the institute seats are less and uh, if you don't get it, you will be totally disappointed for one year. So a neat, I think most chances are there. You can end up somewhere at, uh, in the college and if you study hard, definitely the college of your choice as Ram had joined uh, Calicut Medical College. All the viewers who are planning to write the next exam in 2021 are got the enough inspiration and motivation to start today itself. I always say in every uh, session of mine that you should start today itself. Don't keep it for tomorrow or procrastinate. 
or uh, keep it for new year uh, start today itself because uh, we don't know what is in store for us in the near future as you know corona was unexpected so many changes came but i am really happy for you ram because our association is nearly one and a half years more than one and a half years uh, so and uh, you have reached uh, where you wanted so actually you were staying where you wanted for long and you are <laughs> in calicut so you reached there and uh, i also uh, want everyone viewing this video to work hard and get next year's neat exam as well as try for the institute exam so thank you ram and thank you all viewers uh, 